life-saving AIDS medicines, known as ARVs, became available in Cambodia from around 2004, about 10 years behind the US. Better late than never, these ARVs are offered free of charge to people in 30, 60 or 90 day doses. Well, that's how it's supposed to work. This is Ian Kearney of the Face to Face AIDS Project, and we're back with our wonderful Ton Sapal. Ton Sapal gets her 30 day doses of ARVs from a nearby AIDS hospital. Last month at the hospital, however, Ton Sapal was told that there were no ARVs. She went back four days later and received a five day supply made up of broken pieces of pills. In desperation, the doctor gave Ton Sapal some emergency drugs, shown here in case she ran out of ARVs. The doctor told us that the shortages are forcing him to fall back on such drastic, unacceptable measures. Why the shortages? First, here's how the system is supposed to work. The US and other donor nations give lots of money to the Global Fund, which in turn gives big money to Cambodia's government agencies so they can buy new ARVs. The agencies, however, prefer to buy old and nearly expired ARVs from India, which sell for a much cheaper price. Surprise, surprise, agency officials pocket the difference. The real problem arises when there are no old ARVs to buy. What do the Cambodian agencies do? They wait until India's supply becomes expired and discounted. This act creates ARV shortages for Cambodians who need to take them every day. Corruption. In a country like Cambodia, every layer of government, business and politics runs off corruption. For Ton Sapal, it makes getting her life-saving ARVs difficult when it shouldn't be. But the determined Ton Sapal has survived genocide, poverty and illness. The least that Face to Face can do is to use our influence to get her medicines on a regular basis. We're committed to helping. And so from the home of our inspiring Ton Sapal, this is Ian Kearney of the Face to Face AIDS Project. <laughs>